Hello Seekers, welcome to the Seeksha YouTube channel and I hope you are doing well there. So this channel has loads of educational contents, especially including GIS and remote sensing stuff. So if you are interested in learning something new every day, click the red subscribe button down there. And if you want to receive all important updates free, click the bell icon so you will not miss anything. Today, I will be discussing about the digital elevation models and contour lines within the QGIS and I will show you how to extract contour lines from digital elevation model using QGIS software. So let's get started. If you already have a digital elevation model or digital elevation model attached to your QGIS project, you can create contour lines from them. A contour line is a polyline that usually based on an elevation along a particular path. For example, you can have a continuous contour line that represents 20 feet above sea level. So let's try that now. I am going to drag and drop my digital elevation models in my raster data folder. This is called DEME means digital elevation model for east and digital elevation model for west. Then to extract the contour lines you should go to this raster and go extraction. Here you can see contour. Make sure to select the first one digital elevation model west and here we have the band number one that's all we need and you can see the contour interval here it's a uh, 10 meter by default i'm going to set it as 5 meter if we increase the contour intervals or contour lines what will happen is our files will get really big and here you can see the attribute name there will be a column called l in the shape file with our elevation data i'm going to save it in my data folder i will call it as a contour waste for now i will see or nt underscore w and here you can see number of uh, file types you can save this one but i am interested in shape files for now so i selected shape files and click save so everything's correct we have band one that's all we need and we have five meter interval and the column and of course here the special thing you will see that the console is running a program called uh, gdal contour that's actually uh, an executable installed when we installed qgis so we can paste this into a batch file and run it as often as we want as soon as a dim comes into the directory you can run it and batch it out all sorts of shape files that way but i am going to hit run and hit close for now because you need to understand this one first hit run and let it run right the task has been completed and here you can see our shape file and i'm going to close it then again i am going to do the same thing for the digital elevation model east go to raster extraction contour make sure to input the layer dim e and i want the same interval 5 meter and i will save it as a contour east and the same shape file and click save i'm not going to change any of the thing and click run right and close it now as you can see in the layer panel we have two shape files called contour east and contour west and i'm going to untick these two for now you can see the info tool here and i'm going to zoom it and click a particular contour line and you can see the elevation and the id information in the identify results panel so we have two shape files this one and this one we have different parts east and west it would be better when creating contour lines that we merge them into a one big shape file so how to do it i'm going to close this one for now to do that go to vector and go to data management tools and here you can see merge vector layers here you have to select the both shape files that you are going to merge 
and click OK and the destination should be uh, set it as default I will set it default and the merged layer or the output should be saved to a file I will call it as uh, contour merge let's go M the file type should be shape file and save here and run okay I will close this now now I'm going to untick these two and you can see a single shape file here I am panning the shape file first we had two different digital elevation models then we converted and then we extracted digital elevation models into two shape files like this one and then we merged those shape files into a single shape file you can see the same information if you use the information tool actually you can see the path where it came from originally and the layer and the elevation information and the id in the identify results panel so now we have contour lines from two digital elevation model files that we added to our qgis project although we only created the shape files in this video tutorial we could have chosen any kind of vector files especially xml dxf or json files but some formats do not support two attributes such as elevation field so be careful what format you choose in this case i think we choose well we use the shape file and we have this great merge contour lines okay that is the end of the today's tutorial next day i will be discussing about 3d maps in qgis if you learned something new from this video give me a feedback giving a like for this video tutorial and if you want more educational content hit a subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell i will be back with the next video soon till then take care and goodbye